Hey, what's up YouTube? Matt back again with another video as promised every Sunday. Um, this video is like actually going to be short. Like I feel like most weeks I say it's going to be short and it ends up being like eight minutes long. My plan is for this to actually be short. Here's the reason why. This week is going to talk about my third week in the boot camp and the first week that we've had where we're actually moving into our first full stack. So here's my recap of the week for those of you guys who are curious about the Coding Dojo experience and also about the Coding Bootcamp experience. Um, basically going into this week, they told us upfront that hands down, this is going to be the most difficult week that we probably experienced of our whole entire bootcamp because just how much how much we're learning and how much we're taking in and, and the, the understanding that we're gaining this week of the, of the bigger picture is like vertical. And from here, it's, it's going to taper off a little bit. So um, again, I don't want to talk too much about specifics on uh, the YouTube channel. The blog is really going to kind of be the channel for that. This is just more so like, what was the experience? Like, what am I feeling at the end of this week? And let me tell you what I'm feeling, exhausted, in a, in a good way, in a way that um, I, I, I had to give 100% of myself this week in order to be in the position that I'm at at the end of this week. Um, I feel like my brain almost can't function because I spent so much time thinking through critical problems and stuff like that that... Um, I just, <laughs> I'm so exhausted. So there's a couple of tips I wanted to share with you guys because those of you folks out there who are looking at, at attending a coding boot camp, there's gonna be weeks that you have like this. There's gonna be weeks that you have like this. Um, so here's some tips. Uh, just to be transparent with you guys, um, I mean, again, I'm a really, really creative person. I am really good with like abstract ideas and visual concepts and design and stuff like that. And so part of what I really struggled with this week is that <clears throat> everything that we were focusing on was, was logic based. It was algorithm based. It was objects. It was dictionaries. It was, uh, you know, getting a server up and running and databases and all of this stuff. And what I do want to tell those of you out there who may be more on the creative side like me, um, it's it's a hundred percent possible for you to learn. It's it's one hundred percent possible. Everything that you've seen where people say you can do it, it takes grit is true. This week, I I literally had a couple breakdowns. Not not like fetal position on the floor, you know, crying, but like legit what am I doing here? Why did I make this decision? Holy cow, this was the worst mistake that I've ever made. Like legit breakdowns. Um, how I was able to conquer those was, was a couple of things. Um, a, leaning into the people that are around you, like spending the first couple weeks that you're in your, in your cohort, like, like actually building relationships has proven to be invaluable to actually have like an honest conversation with somebody where you can just be like, Hey, like, this is where my head's at, man. Like, this is what I'm struggling with. Like, this is, this is what I'm internalizing right now. And I just had to share that with somebody and you'll start to learn that 90% of your class is feeling the exact same way. And the way that you guys are going to learn is by, is by helping each other. Everybody has a different brain. Everybody has a different thought process. And together, you guys make Captain Planet. Like, basically, together, you guys can conquer whatever problem is ahead of you. And conquering problems like that as a group is going to strengthen those relationships. And it's going to strengthen your knowledge as well. So keep that in mind. Um, the other thing that, that I started doing on Thursday, so, I mean, like, you have to keep in mind, like, I had probably already put... 60 hours into the week by the time Thursday had come and I had to make a really hard decision where most of the time like we get to the boot camp uh, we get to coding dojo at like 7 30 or 8 o'clock in the morning and I do like basically a solid 10 hours of studying with a little lunch break in there and 
basically this whole week it got to a point to where by like three o'clock I, I couldn't retain anything. Like my brain was just full. I was staring at a computer screen. I was clicking a mouse. I was typing in commands on a keyboard, but there was nothing that was entering my brain. And the mathematical choice that I made that, that was tough, and you might be in this place after a couple weeks in a boot camp too, the mathematical choice that I, that I made was, well, I feel like I should take a break, but if I take a 10 minute break every 50 minutes and I put in an average of a 12 hour day, that's 120 minutes at the end of the day. That's two hours that I've wasted that I could have spent studying. What I will tell you, for me at least, taking those breaks at the end of every hour has changed everything. Rest. Rest this thing. When you take those breaks, use that time to talk to yourself. Look like a crazy person. Who cares? You're learning. You're in this environment. What I do is I go outside and I stand there just for maybe a minute or so and it's just like no phone, no distractions, nothing. And it's like just feel the sunlight, feel the breeze, feel, you know, like take in life for a second and reset. And the second that you feel like, like you've kind of grounded yourself again, start walking around and what I've done is while I'm walking around I just start verbalizing everything that I've learned okay so if somebody was going to blah 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 they asked me to do this how would I do that and actually going through and and saying out loud step by step what here's what I would do first now after we've created that file or that file structure this is what I would then do with those then I would like boot into this virtual environment. Then after I have that, here's what I would do. Now my thought process on designing this feature, blah, 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 blah. And what I found is that it's, it's almost like data compression. Like when you go outside and when you step away, it kind of just lets everything in your head settle just a little bit, even if it's only enough to take in 30, 40, 45 more minutes of learning, like it compresses it just enough. And saying it out loud, helps you start to process through it in a different way because when you if, if you're a verbal processor saying it out loud can help you connect those dots and it compresses things a little bit more and it takes away a little bit of the anxiety of like well if i needed to explain this to um a cohort member that's not getting it here's how i would say it, it compresses it a little bit more so all of that to say you guys if you go to the coding dojo everything they say is true Week three is going to kick your butt. If you're at another coding boot camp and you're going to be covering multiple stacks over a certain period of time, the first stack that you cover, like the first full stack that you cover is going to kick your butt. But what matters is your attitude going into it. What matters is your attitude during it and resting, resting, resting your brain. So, that's all I got this week. Um, I said it was going to be short. It's nine minutes. So uh, typical me, I guess. Anyways, speaking of resting, I'm going to go watch Monty Python and the Holy Grail and probably take a nap and just get ready for this week. So um, I hope you guys are all out there learning. I hope you guys are staying sharp and that you're challenging yourselves. Again, if you have any questions, if there's anything specific that you want to see um, or any specific questions that you have for me, feel free to reach out. I loved hearing from you guys. All right, I'll catch you guys later, okay? See ya.